Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Tyrus and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to No McDonald uh what's the big Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Tyrus and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to No McDonald, a racist, a homophobe and a Holocaust denier walk into a bar. So, without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. <laughs> Earlier this week, Aaron Jackson of Topeka, Kansas, painted his house the colors of the gay pride rainbow flag in direct protest of the Westboro Baptist Church. When that didn't seem to work, Jackson fucked three of his best buds on his front lawn. <laughs> homophobic. Yeah. Well, I, no, I think it shows I mean, solidarity. Earlier he was racist, and now he's yeah. homophobic. Well, I, think it is, yeah. I think it shows solidarity. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this next one. Uh, that's what are you afraid of? <laughs> next one here, it says, uh, Chipotle has cancelled its planned sponsorship of the Utah Boy Scout event due to the BSA's ban on gay leaders and scouts. Ironic, how an all-male anti-gay organization would want to put hot, thick loads of beef and sour cream Okay, in okay, mouth. okay, okay. We get the idea. You hate gay guys. <laughs> the last one. Jesus Christ. Sounds like it's a test, like if you laugh, then... Yeah. You're an asshole or something like that. Right, exactly. I guess I'm an asshole. You laugh at him? Yeah, that joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're testing him. Look at his face. It's always a test this fucker. <laughs> this is what I have to work with, you know? Uh -huh. I mean, we're going to get in trouble for this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, I thought they were... <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Gay people, uh, this is the... Uh, it's uh, funny, when I see, uh, like, on TV, a guy, I just go, how out of touch are you? Not him, but him too. But I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> like some uh, g governor go, I'm against gays. You go, what? Like, yeah. just pretend you're not against them. Like, don't you understand? <laughs> Gay people are just like me and you. I know. How many times do I have to tell you that? Well, you keep, you tell me that all day. How how I'm just like all the, the you know gay people. Well, people are the same as, as everybody. No, you mean no. you always tell me specifically how I'm. I, you're just maybe you're just. I think you're just calling me gay. It's one of the. It's two. not an insult. He no, it's an insult. no, no, I didn't mean it. Why would being gay be an insult? Yeah, I love gay people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what the fuck? Is <laughs> well, my family comes from Russia. They're Russian Jews. Uh -oh. Russian and Jews is more like it. One of the biggest <laughs> anti Semites I've ever met. <laughs> Russian away from Jews. I had a bar mitzvah. <laughs> what? I had a bar mitzvah, Norm. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Wait, are you Jewish? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I love, I love the Jewish people. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's a half a Jew and a half a, a self hating Jew. <laughs> <laughs> That's called anti Semite. An anti Semite, yeah. He's a half a, Jew, a proud Jew and half a virulent anti Semite. <laughs> so Disagree. He's, he's conflicted. He's a virulent anti Semite. That's come out on the show. <laughs> but, but there's never anything about. A virulent? Well, he's a Is Holocaust a denier. Oh. <laughs> you know, you're very good friends with uh, David Irving, the <laughs> author. Who he reads constantly. Yeah, I'm not friends with David Irving. <laughs> Do you know that he, though, is a revisionist? Oh, you're a revisionist? Well, he's a, a denier, Holocaust denier. <laughs> You've never, but he's never read David Irving because he said he's too smart. <laughs> And I tell him, well, David Irving is, is would be your biggest ally, you know yeah. what I mean, instead of these morons. You knew David Irving instantly when I said it. You as if you're his best friend. Yeah. He's and Jewish. Are you Jewish? Yeah. Okay, then you'll get it. Oh, okay. Okay. Half Jewish. No, I'm full. Full Jewish. Full Jewish. All right, then. But you're young, so you might not get yeah, it. Maybe. Okay, so here's the joke. Holocaust denier. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not going to hold that against you. Um... <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to hold that game. 30, 30 kids. Oh, was it 50? Something well, like that. Same. Some people awesome. just, they Beautiful. deserve Six capital punishment. No, 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 no. Are you anti-capital punishment uh, or something? No, I'm pro-capital punishment, but this guy starts num getting talking numbers and deaths. Be careful, because it always gets back to the Holocaust tonight. <laughs> what? What do you mean when you say stripped of everything? Uh, don't. Sorry, I had to pause this because Norm constantly shitting on him. No, so it's not shitting. I know he's taking the piss and they are friend and stuff, but he constantly keep every joke is about him being Holocaust denier. Is there a story behind it? Am I missing something? Please do let me know. All right, here we go again. 
I like Austin. Oh, what? What do you mean when you say stripped of everything? Oh, don't start this again. Oh, Please don't start no, just, this again. Let me, let me, he I doesn't never, believe in the whatever. Oh, what? I never got to go he to camp. He doesn't believe oh. in the Holocaust. I never went to camp when I was a kid. Is that a good oh, change God. of subject? That's heartbreaking. He doesn't believe that the Holocaust happened. Do you, believe, do you not believe that? I had a bar mitzvah. Again. No, I mean, why would you have a bar mitzvah, mitzvah if you didn't believe the Holocaust oh, happened? Jesus, every time. I'm surprised surprise. this guy's still on the air. He's a, he's a uh, Holocaust denier. Not oh, well, I'll have another one for you tonight. As <laughs> soon as we leave here. He's a, a, a revisionist, a Holocaust what? denier. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you feel better. Almost Wait, is it? Are you or not? I no, I no, I. Uh, oh boy. Oh no, boy. I had a, oh I had boy. a bar you, mitzvah. Oh yeah, I oh had you, a bar you. mitzvah. I'm, I'm full Jew. What do you think about guys like this, though? This guy? Yeah. He seems like comes around. This is this is his little joke it's against like the stone against roses. the poor uh, masses that that came out of it's a, a chimney. Being from Manchester, this has nothing to do with the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring up the Holocaust. You did. I love that you sort of gleefully said, "I didn't bring up the Holocaust." <laughs> <laughs> I normally do by mistake, but today. <laughs> didn't bring it up. I know what a Passover seder is, but the worst Passover seder is when you're there and this guy is talking about the smokestacks of Birkenau. Okay, not being true. I can't bring that up in Pesach. True. Yeah. There's no it's way true. I would bring that up in Pesach. Then. You, if you can't fighting. ignore. I ignore this fucker when he starts talking about the smokestacks at Auschwitz and how the shadows okay. don't make, couldn't make sense and all this shit. <laughs> Oh my head about the it. Holocaust really answers answer. me. You can't do ignore him. I ignore this motherfucker. <laughs> he said, "How could there be poison? Uh, you know, a poison gas. I don't know much about the Holocaust, but the, uh, what do they have inside the uh, uh, the two of you together the, just to really uh, give a great inside, homage to that whole time. Inside the <laughs> gas chambers, they put a certain type of gas, zyklon, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. zyklon Zy 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 gas. There's now, a number. The guards would open the door and get the Zyklon all over their hand and die also. How would that not if happen? If there was a sub door. But he had another thing. I don't want to make pretend we're some... He said, he said when the Allied planes came over, they have pictures, apparently, of the smokestacks. And he said the smokestacks uh, drop a shadow. The smokestacks that we all know uh, spewed out the uh, sad remains of human souls that once had dreams and once loved. He says, it's all a bunch of horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me this. Being all serious and all of a sudden, I knew he's going to say something like that. And seeing Norm and Bob Saget in the same video, I think I'm going to find the full episode and react to it as well and see exactly what's going on with that. Because it's just heartbreaking. It's a big story about how... The uh, pictures from the planes on Dachau and stuff yeah. don't show enough. Uh, uh, the chimney is not long enough. It doesn't cast a long shadow enough to have possibly been big enough to service the what? killing machine of Hitler. That's what he told me. I've been saying that for years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you finally found someone to agree with you. I I'm an asshole. Six million uh, people disappear from the, from the face of the earth. Ask this motherfucker. He's the one that thinks that it didn't happen. Yes, <laughs> was, was this Passover. is the closest I've seen to the meaning of the Holocaust, where he said, I think people have died. He's like, six million, six hundred? What's the difference? I'm like, oh. <laughs> There's a lot of difference. There's a Adam. huge difference. Listen, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I say six million, he says six hundred. <laughs> you say probably a number in between there somewhere. It happened. Fire pit. Fire pit. Fire pit. He goes, fire pit. Fire pit. He, no, no, he goes just, it happened, but he goes, the numbers are all right, all wrong. And then he goes, the other night he goes, 600 or 6 million, it's still terrible. I'm like, oh. Okay. That's <laughs> not real, right. dude. All right. Please Listen, tell me that's I just not true. Say, I, I just want to say a few things. I don't have a manager. I don't have an agent. I, yeah, I did have a bar mitzvah. Yeah, I you don't. Maybe I'm not you a would Holocaust if you, denier. Maybe you would if you didn't <laughs> fucking. He thinks he's going to get a manager and an agent. Jew with that kind of shit. <laughs> and a lot of homosexuals died in the fucking camps too, let's not forget. <laughs> well, I'm serious. What do you, you think? I, but I have more empathy now? No, I'm saying. Oh, there were homosexuals. More. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I thought there was just Jews. You're telling me there were homosexuals.
homosex homosexuals were in with those Jews? We're gonna do something. There's not enough documentaries. By the way, I saw that film that uh, you recommended me that you call the fantasy, Shoah. Horrifying. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. You really don't like show? Shame. Shame. I can't win them all. <laughs> Fantasy indeed. Somebody's using the word Holocaust for a joke. That's terrible. That Chelsea, that Chelsea, Chelsea girl. Handler. Chelsea Handler. Yeah, she has got a guy and they, and they love Holocaust, the word. God, what with, is with that? that? With that dwarf she's yeah, got with it, a yeah. misshapen dwarf. Yeah, and, and he's not a white, Holocaust. he's not a white man either. No. And, and they do Holocaust humor? Yeah, and I kid you, why does she keep repeating that joke? God, even that word. Terrible thing to bring up, yeah. God almighty. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> all right. the I, I apologize uh, to all the viewers. I'm not an apologist. Sure. You are an apologist. Are you familiar with the Tinder app? Sure. Yeah, sure. So I'm on there. Look at you. Huh? I'm going to go you from the Tinder app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like Ted Levine. Yeah. Everybody says that. I do. I sound a lot like Buffalo Bill. Your name is? Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Mr. Gordon. Um, well, Frederica used to work for Mrs. Lippman. Did you know her? No, uh -uh. Oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? I'm on there, I match with this one girl. She's like young and very attractive. I'm a four too. <laughs> <laughs> we start talking, she's immediately, she's texting me at like 4 a.m. And I'm like, oh, you know, what's going on? She's like, oh, I'm bored and I wish I had some weed. We, you wanna come over? And I'm like. Shit. Yeah, sure. And she's saying pictures of her. Oh, maybe, you know, maybe we'll have fun. And like, and I'm like, and so at this point, what my the pictures? it was like her bent over with no, you know, clothes on and stuff. And I'm like, so but at this point, my cock's making the decisions. Oh. <laughs> anyway, tell me. And so I, I call my friend and then no. And then she's like, yeah, just can you bring a C note? Well, uh, I have a, a roommate that sells a hundred yeah, dollar bill and we'll and we'll go get some weed and you can come on. I'm like, yeah, am I getting mugged? I called my friend, he said, put, put the phone number into Facebook and you can see who the person Shut is. The fuck up. Yeah, so I put the phone number into Facebook and the profile comes up. It's this black guy in a ski mask in all the pictures. It doesn't matter what race you're Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I don't know how he knew his black is wearing a ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I know over there. No, I know. You can tell. never heard his view on uh, African Americans uh, until this very show. That's interesting that you got that out of him. Plenty of, plenty of uh, black like friends. Well, plenty of black, black friends. Dated a, a black woman for, for months. Um, no, I'm not, a, I'm not a racist. <laughs> So, that was uh, Noel McDonald, a racist, homophobe, and a holocaust denier walk into a bar. I need to find out what the story is behind these two. Why Norm always pushing it and he's always defending by saying I had a bar mitzvah. There has to be a story and if there's an episode and if there's a clip about this somewhere, please do let me know. I really want to watch it. And yes, uh, we. I believe I am an asshole when it comes to some fucked up shit jokes. Because I do enjoy some really fucked up humour, regardless of what it's about, I think it is funny, it's just a joke. And the whole bit, from the beginning to end, it continuously the same thing with new people. And uh, the beginning was all about him uh, talking about <laughs> the gay jokes, and then he moved to Holocaust Denier. Uh, it was the whole thing, the whole thing was absolutely brilliant and it did not dis disappoint me, I really did enjoy that and every time I saw uh, Bob Saget and uh, Norm Macdonald sitting at the same time I really want to watch that clip because I want to watch the whole episode I might just react to the whole episode so I'm looking forward to that but I really did enjoy that, I hope you did too if you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment also follow me on Twitter and Instagram links, links are in the description down below I'll see you guys next time.